Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge and today we take another look into the charts. Um, we had some FUD from China this morning uh, considering Huobi. Um, there were some rumors uh, management was jailed by Chinese authorities just like um, the OKX CEO um, but those weren't true um, although uh, I think the dump which we saw this morning was caused by that rumor also 400 million um, in Bitcoin has left Huobi um, was reported by Box Mining um, so yeah some things going on um, taking a look at boomer stocks today um, kind of sideways in my opinion uh, the S&P was pumping while Bitcoin was dumping this morning but it was news related for Bitcoin um, taking a look at where we are now um, the dollar is is going sideways we still have this resistance on the daily this big trend line and we want Bitcoin, oh, sorry, uh, the dollar to stay below, below that Dixie still lower um, highs and higher lows um, this is what we can see now they're exactly between these two and um, well I just want them to break down also we have the elections this week uh, tomorrow which will be very exciting um, I place my bets on Trump what do you guys say um, and this is the S&P 500 they're under this trend line right now um, trying to bounce up big wicks um, yeah for now it was a higher low so that's still good but also um, a lower high so I mean this is basically where the S&P is wedged in between these two the two outer ones take a look at Bitcoin with the funding indicator funding showing very negative again um, for me still a buying moment a buy the dip and again it is still a higher low again so I mean we did break uh, down from this pattern but um, I mean it's not looking bad um, worst case I mean worst case uh, we get uh, there's, there's, there can be way worse things you know um, but for now a risk is uh, a retest of this trend line and a rejection and going back down we can also see it here um, this is the support I am still looking at uh, one hour time frame but um, yeah on Bitstamp but um, I mean in my opinion it's still looking good on a higher time frame we could see something like this people draw it differently um, but you can draw it like this this being resistance also you can draw it like this uh, people draw it in all um, different ways and this one would say we are at support right now in my opinion we're above it um, so yeah you can you can draw it in multiple ways I like this one and that shows we are above it um, and yeah we're still making uh, higher lows all the time so yeah it's 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 not bad um, but it's I mean it's not a green day so can't say it is that good but for me you know it's it's still very good the weekly closed as well last night and how did the weekly look still okay do losing a little bit of speed but um, yeah I mean VPVR shows big support in the 12k range uh, low 12k over here um, all the way to 9.5k um, we did touch resistance on a higher time frame so a lot of people are expecting a pullback we can see that about um, like on the fundings this funding will go in in uh, a couple minutes from now uh, it has started when the video is live but it shows very negative funding and for me that is a buying moment um, so I mean when funding is this negative you don't want to open a short um, in my opinion so yeah I hope we can make a short squeeze out of this um, I really would like that also we have a lot of resistance to the upside 
Um, we got a little bit of rejection on a lower time frame. We can see they dumped it away immediately. Let's go to the hourly. And this is this is actually what what a bull market is. This is for me the confirmation what a bull market is. Such big volatility. It was it was almost a six hundred dollar candle um, all at once. Boom! Run everybody stops because there are a lot of people who trade small time frames. Um, on a smaller time frame, I would say we have some uh, resistance on the lower side of, of of this area. Tops over here. Bottoms over here. So right now, um, 13,650 should be resistance. Um, support, I mean, that was the low, of course, of this morning, uh, afternoon, <laughs> depending on where, you, where what's your location. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is a really good spot for retest. Um, they cleaned out a lot of longs, and they all have to buy back higher again uh, if they didn't long the bottom or they're underwater. But right now... Um, we baited a lot of shorts, in my opinion. Uh, people are very bearish, and that's why we see the negative funding. Um, so, I mean, it, it, that's very good, in my opinion, because we have a lot of fuel to the upside right now. Um, so my bet would be for, yeah, going up. Of course, if you want to trade smaller time frames, um, you want to take profit just before 14K, because a lot of asks are still there. Um, but if you're trading futures or something um, where you don't pay any funding and low leverage, you can aim higher, 16K maybe. Ethereum, USD, um, this is basically it on a, on a higher time frame. We are still above last year's high. Last year's high was 360. Um, looking very good, looking very good and consolidating. Um, yesterday, a lot of people were celebrating this little pop-up. Um, it was a bit too soon in my opinion. Because um, it's, you know, we're still in the triangle. It's not a big breakout. We want to see a breakout out of this triangle and see it making a higher high. That will be 420. Lows to hold would be uh, 360, 60 area. So this is, in my opinion, where we are between. Um, and breaking one of those is also a break of the triangle. Um, I would bet up Ethereum. BTC, very much consolidating. Well, not really consolidating. Uh, they were making a bullish rise, uh, like falling wedge. But right now, they broke to the downside of it. Did a retest on support, strong support in my opinion. We can see it in the VPVR here as well. Um, I mean, this is this is long area. If you want to take that risk, long it here. If you don't want to, uh, yeah, it's completely up to you. This is not financial advice or anything. Um, but I mean, for me, it is, this is inbounds territory. Um, it's a buy over here. Like I said, funding is very negative. People are overly bearish. Um, I think it's a buying opportunity. We are bouncing very well from the FUD dump, in my opinion. And like I said, uh, 13,650 is resistance at the moment, but I see us going through it fast with funding that negative meaning there are a lot of stops to run who should buy back higher so that's about it for today if you um, want to trade a bit yourself make sure you use one of these sign up links uh, you get additional discounts on your trading fees they're also in the video description and make sure you uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment let me know what you think of the voice quality um, my microphone is a little bit messing with me lately. So uh, I see you guys again tomorrow and that's about it. See you guys.